Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of give you a little overview summary of solving uh, logarithmic equations. And I just want to kind of go through the process real quick and then kind of touch on some tips and tricks as well as some common mistakes. So when looking into solving logarithmic equations, the main important thing that we want to do is either get a log isolated on one side or get two logs isolated on both sides and then either rewrite it in exponential form or apply the one-to-one -one property to go ahead and find our solutions. And if we obtain two solutions to make sure that uh, if we obtain two solutions to make sure that we check both of them to see if they are extraneous. So now let's kind of go through our tips and tricks. Well, the first thing, guys, is condense. You have to know your properties of exponents. If you know your properties of exponents, apply condensing, where you're going from multiple logarithms down to one. As I mentioned, we, our idea is to get one logarithm on one side or one logarithm on both sides condensed by itself. Um, rewrite, so if you only have a logarithm on one side and it is condensed, right? You have a logarithm on one side equal to a value, equal to a number, then just rewrite it as an exponential equation. Once it's rewritten as an exponential equation, you can go ahead and solve. Um, however, or if it hard, if the exponent is still your variable, then go ahead and use your uh, calculator to solve. If you have a, if you have condensed to a single logarithm on both sides, then apply the one-to-one -one property, right? And I'll, I'm not going to go through it. The one-to-one -one property, um, you know, when you have a log is equal to another log with the same base, then those values are equal to each other. Um, check negative answer first. More often than not, when we looked at the graph of a logarithm, it is in the positive uh, domain. Uh, the domain is, is all positive numbers. So more likely than not, the answer that you're going to obtain is going to be positive. It is possible to have it to have negative answers, but very rarely are we going to be doing a lot of problems with them. So if you obtain two solutions, double check the negative value. And again, when you plug them back in, you know, when you have that negative answer, plug that into in for x or whatever your variable is. And remember, you cannot take uh, the logarithm of a negative value. So if you just have, you know, log of five of x and you're plugging in a negative number, then you automatically know that that, that negative value that you plugged in is going to be your extraneous solution. All right. Now let's get into some common mistakes. And this pretty much goes off of exactly not what's not doing your tips and tricks. Your common mistakes are not condensing. I see people apply operations and they just don't condense. For instance, like, um, well, I don't know. Um, you know, log base five of x plus log base five of two equals one. And they just don't even condense. They just go ahead and maybe solve like zero product property or they rewrite to exponential form, but they don't condense it. So make sure you condense it. Number two, this is a huge one that I see. Um, students do not simplify when they want to apply their one-on-one -one property. And this kind of goes back to um, logarithms. And for instance, log base 5 of x plus r is equal to log base 5 of, of, of 2 plus 1. You cannot apply the one-to-one -one property to this equation. What you would have to do is subtract log base 5 of 2 to the other side, right? Then use your cond condense that into one logarithm and then go ahead and rewrite it as an exponential equation. But you cannot say this because it's not a logarithm equal to another logarithm. It's a logarithm equal to another logarithm plus 1. So this is a huge mistake that I see a lot of students make. You have to have log equal to log. That's it. If you don't, then you got to get the logs to the same side, combine them by condensing, and then rewrite as an exponential. The next thing is just not checking your answer. Um, that's just, you know, I wouldn't say laziness, because like me, I forget a lot of different things. But just remember that a logarithm equation only has one solution, right? It's not a, it's not a parabola. It doesn't, it's not going to touch the x-axis twice. So there's only one solution. So if you have two solutions, make sure you check both of them to determine which one is extraneous. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of a summary for you of solving logarithmic equations. Thanks.